Let's write the net ionic equation for KOH plus BaCl2. This is potassium hydroxide and we have barium chloride. The first thing we do when we balance net ionic equations, we have to balance the molecular equation. And this up here is the molecular equation. I can see that I have two chlorines here and just one here. I put a two in front of the KCl. That balances the chlorines, but now I have two potassiums. So let's put a two in front of the KOH, potassium hydroxide. Now we have the potassiums balanced, but we have two hydroxides. That's okay, we have two hydroxides here and a barium on each side. This is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. So potassium hydroxide, that's a strong base, so we split that apart. Chloride's very soluble, so they're gonna be soluble. And then barium hydroxide, this is considered a strong base as well. So we're going to write aqueous, and that means it's soluble in water. But let's take a look at a solubility chart just to make sure. Sometimes there's some confusion about barium hydroxide. So on our solubility chart, we go down and find barium right here and then hydroxide. So we go over and down and we have this S. This S means that it's soluble, so it'll dissolve in water, and that's why we wrote aqueous. So really, when everything's aqueous, that means nothing's changed. There's no precipitate, so there's no reaction. So let's split all of these apart into their ions and see what that looks like. So as we look at this, on the top, we have the reactants on the bottom of the products. They're identical. We have the same ions on the top and the bottom, and they're all aqueous, so nothing's changed. No reaction. We have the same ions we start with, and we finish with the same ions. If we cross out the spectator ions, we have two potassium ions in the reactants and the products, two hydroxide ions. We have a barium ion here, barium ion, two chlorides, two chlorides. There's nothing left. So because everything's soluble, everything's aqueous, we have the same thing we start and finish with. So there's no reaction. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for KOH plus BaCl2, except there's no reaction. Thanks for watching.